definitely a bunch of, of coconuts. Yeah, coconuts. I've got a blah 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 blah. Coconuts. Yeah, coconuts. I've got. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Uh, but there's still some more. Uh, <laughs> coconuts. Thank you. Auditioning next for the lead role in this year's school musical is Ruby Snarkis. <clears throat> Mr. Needle Nose, it's Ruby Sparkling, my stage name. Ruby, Ruby Sparkling? Sparkling? Wow, what a great stage name. Ruby will be assisted by her brother. Sal the Mule. Uh, Sal the Mule? Yeah, Marcus, go for it. Hit it, Mrs. S. I've got a mule and her name is Sal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Hee-haw She's a good old worker and a good old pal Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Hee-haw Fifteen miles on the Erie Canal Do you hear that singing, Radicus? That girl is insufferable! What'd you say? We pulled some barges in our day Filled with lumber, coal and hay And hay And every inch of the way we know From Albany to Buffalo From Albany to Buffalo What a talent! What's going on? It's a list of who won the parts in the school play. Ladies, gentlemen, please! Everyone will have a chance. Back off! Thank you. Out of my way. Let me see. <gasps> I got it! I got the starring role! Congratulations, Ruby. Way to go! I, I knew you could do it, Ruby. Wow, I'm the star! I can't believe it! There was no other choice, Ruby. Uh, Miss Sparkling? Yeah, you're right. Who else could they pick? <laughs> I'm a star, I'm a star, I'm a star! I'm a star, I'm a hey, star. Hey, Marcus, you got a part, too. You're Sal the Mule. Way to go, Marcus. Thanks. Uh, I'm not really star material. You're gonna be a great mule. You think so? Definitely. Just don't let it go to your head. I got the part, I got the part, I got the part! You're a veritable cornucopia of talent, Miss Sparkling! That goes without saying. If only. <laughs> I must admit, Raticus, that girl's talent to annoy is amazing! Uh, she's no more talented than you, Phantom. And what I mean is, you can annoy with the best of them. There's nobody who can annoy like you can. Uh, when I say annoy, I, I mean it in the best sense of annoy. That is, I, uh, perhaps I'll be silent now. Good thinking. Who can tell me who won the war of 1812? I won the lead role in the school musical, Mrs. Snodgrass. That's very nice, Ruby, but... Uh, it's Miss Sparkling, if you don't well, mind. Well, Miss Sparkling, why don't you go on down to Principal Mulligan's office and tell him that Ruby is having difficulty concentrating on her lessons, mm -hmm. I'd like to see Ruby tap dance out of this one. Lead with your left, Principal Mulligan, with your left. <laughs> uh, my left? Uh, right. Very good. Now try this one. Ugh. Well, uh, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Are you okay, Principal Mulligan? Here comes Miss Sparkling. I was just talking to Mr. Needlenose and I asked him if I could take on a couple of extra roles. And I told him there are four additional numbers I could do and possibly integrate some of my juggling, tumbling, and mime Uh, Ruby? Miss Sparkling, please. It's great that you have the lead role. The starring role. Right. But that's in the play. It's a musical. Right. Ruby, you're the lead, the star of the school musical, but that doesn't mean that you have to be the star everywhere. Why not? I am a star. That's right, she can't help it. 
You know what, Miss Sparkling? This sounds like sibling jealousy to me. Marcus, are you behind this? I, I never said anything. I have no time for this. I must prepare for rehearsal. And Marcus, you better know your lines. I don't want any distractions. No distractions! Oh, boy. I, I was nervous enough already. Now I'm sure to mess up my lines. I thought you only had two lines. But they're very tricky. Ugh. It's not easy being a mule. Hee-haw. 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 Marcus, we've decided to change your last line. What? I can't learn a whole new line now. Now, after Miss Sparkling's big finale, instead of hee-haw, we want you to say, Golly, Miss Laverne, you sure can belt out a tune. Golly, Miss Laverne, you sure can belt out a tune. Golly, Miss Laverne, you sure can belt out a tune. Golly, Miss Laverne. From Albany to Buffalo. Golly, Miss Latoon, you sure can burn out a belt. What? Uh, Molly, Miss Golly, your belt's out of tune. I mean, uh, Miss Polly, you sure belted that goon. Oh, no. Marcus, how do you expect to perform with me if you can't remember one simple line? It's not that simple, and I didn't have a chance to study it. I can't work with this. I'm sorry. I guess you better find somebody more talented. Come on, Marcus. We'll try it again. Okay, if that's the way you want it. He's so stubborn, he could never play a mule. Impossible! Now where am I going to find a replacement mule at the last minute? Golly, Miss Laverne! You can sure belt out a tune! You're hired! Yes! Woohoo! You know, it's not just Marcus. My entire supporting cast just isn't up to scratch. I couldn't agree more, Miss Sparkling. Why, you're such a major talent, you should be playing all the parts. Yes! You're absolutely right! Yes, she's absolutely right! <laughs> yes! About what? You're starting to show promise, Fred. Please, call me Sal the Mule. I want to remain in character at all times. I'm very impressed, Sal the Mule. Now fetch me a mineral water. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. I better get some air. Here's your water. Where's my water? Uh, I'll get you another one. Make it snappy. I don't know how she did that, but what a talent! <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's becoming a little hard to take. Maybe getting the starring role in the musical wasn't such a good thing after all. Oh no, here she comes! This is for my special quality. is for my terrific personality. A is for my absolute attractivity. R is for my rubiosity. And that spells star. Do that. I cloned her, you fool! Oh, well, that explains everything. Uh, could you explain everything, Phantom? I made a copy, an exact genetic duplicate, several of them, in fact. <laughs> and I'm going to make more and more and more! She seems to be everywhere. Yeah, she sure knows how to get attention. Hi, Marcus. How'd the rehearsal go? Uh, I decided I didn't want to be in the play anymore. <gasps> Why? You never quit anything, Marcus. Something must have happened. I kind of messed up my lines a little bit, and Ruby got pretty mad. But she's right. I don't even have enough talent to play a mule. Enough is enough. She might be a star, but she won't have any friends if she keeps behaving like this. There she is now. No, she's over there. <gasps> and there! There's... Three rubies. I don't know how our parents are gonna take this. They're all perfect DNA matches. <gasps> Ruby's been cloned! These energy readings indicate the Ruby clones are continuing to duplicate themselves at an alarming rate. You mean there's gonna be more? There already are. Wow! Talk about multi-talented. Boy, 
Earl's done some pretty terrible things before, but this takes a cake. <laughs> Ah, oh, those kids haven't seen anything yet! <laughs> I'm not sure what we're laughing at, Phantom, <laughs> but it feels good! <laughs> and this recent phenomenon has provided us with an excellent and exciting example of what is known as genetic engineering. Uh, any questions, uh, Ruby? Ruby is such a great big star. Ruby's the biggest star by far. Ruby, we all want to be just like Ruby. Here's today's attendance sheets, Principal Mulligan. Oh, my goodness. It looks as if we're at 100%. Lydia Lopez, Johnny the Skunk, Fred Smirts, Ruby Snarkus, Ruby Snarkus, Ruby Snarkus, Ruby Snarkus. <gasps> themselves, soon the school won't be able to physically hold them all. Well, we'll just do something about that. Not so fast! It's locked! So's the window. Uh-oh. It looks like Earl has completely sealed the school. Then there's no way out. And with the clones still multiplying, we'll be suffocating in rubies. What a way to go. and etc. There are only so many lines in the play. Well, then you'll have to make up more lines. Yes! More, more lines! lines more, more lines! More lines! I can't give you any more lines. Since everyone else quit, you've already got every part in the play. I'm just going to have to put my foot down this time. Then we have no choice. You're fired. Yes! You're fired! What? You can't fire me? Oh! But who will be the director? I'll be the director. You're fired too. Uh, wait, who will be Sal the Mule? I'll be Sal the Mule. <laughs> oh, Radicus, I think this is my most brilliant scheme of all. You got that right, Phantom. Brilliant. The way you, uh, could you explain again how come all those girls look the same? You don't have to do it right now. We haven't much time. Marcus, isn't there some way of decloning her? We could try reversing the energy fields, but the process might make all of the rubies disappear. You mean even the original ruby? It's a possibility. Then the only thing to do is find the real ruby and separate her from the rest. But they're all identical. I'm her brother and I can't even tell the difference. Maybe it's not the way they look. Maybe it's how they behave. That will set Ruby apart from the clones. You're right. We need to consult with an expert in human behavior. Yes, someone of immense wisdom and experience. Someone who has seen everything in his time. This is the most striking example of multiple personalities that I've ever seen in all my years of physical plant maintenance. But, Buford, do you think there's any way of identifying the real Ruby? Hmm. Usually, an ego manifested on such a grand scale is making up for some deficit. Is Ruby always this attention-seeking? Yes. yes. Well, she is most of the time, but sometimes she isn't. Sometimes she's even shy, believe it or not. Very, very interesting. And how do you think your sister would feel about all these other Rubies competing with her for attention? I think maybe she'd be... Scared. I see. And what would you do if you were scared? I guess I'd hide. That's, That's it. it. Thanks, Buford. It's all part of the job, Marcus. <laughs> Ruby Snarkus. Ruby Snarkus. Ruby Snarkus. <sighs> oh, Ruby Snarkus. Ruby is 
Here, Marcus. Then I don't know where else to look. Come on, Marcus. We'll find her. Marcus? <gasps> Ruby! Marcus? Have they gone? All those girls pretending to be me. They're still there. But don't worry, Ruby. We're with you now. The nerve! They don't even look like me. Ruby, they're clones. They're identical. <gasps> I was afraid of that. They're overwhelming. They always have to be the center of attention. Yes. Yes. And if they get all the attention, then nobody else gets any attention. Right? Right. right. And I guess maybe I've been acting a little bit like that, too. A little, a little bit. bit. I'm sorry. I don't know why I always think I have to be a star all the time. And Marcus, I'm sorry I was mean to you. You are Sal the Mule. Thanks! Ruby, we'll always be your friends, whether you're a star or not. And I'll always be your brother, too. You don't know how much I appreciate that, Marcus. Please make all these other Rubies go away! The school's not big enough for all of them. You got that right, Ruby. Can we reverse the energy fields? No, not enough time. We'll have to come up with something else, and fast! Ruby did, just a little later. <laughs> they all just barged in, and now I have no idea which Ruby is Ruby. I am. No, I yeah. are not. I am. I am Ruby. I was born to be Ruby. Ruby. Ruby is in my blood. It doesn't matter. All of you, just come to the stage. You have to perform. Forget, Forget it. What? I've given up show business. Me too. Can't compete with myself. Me neither. Ruby and Ruby. And all you rubies, you all know how talented you are as individuals. Well, yeah, of course. Goes without saying. Just imagine how huge your combined talent would be. If you could stop hogging the spotlight and work together, you could give the performance of a lifetime. That's true. Huge. Massive. I'll do it. Uh, but only if you'll help me, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus, you have to be on stage, too. Yes, I need you, Marcus. Me, too. Bring me the mule suit. Ruby, move to the left a little. No, 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 not you, Ruby. I, I mean you, Ruby. That is... Oh, my. This should bring up a schematic of the school's electrical system, including Earl's hidden microphones. Bingo. What are they saying now, Phantom? I still can't hear. Turn up the volume. What are they saying now, Phantom? Golly, 
Golly, you sure can belt out a tune, Sal the Mule. You're not so bad yourself, Miss Laverne. <laughs>